Uh, we were watching the Top Gear episode where they went around Silverstone uh, for the 24 hour race and I decided then and then I have to do this. It, it seems to be a burning passion. I need to do this one day. I need to go racing. It, it felt honestly that, it sounds a bit daft, but it's felt that strong. You know, this is something I really want to do. So, um, yeah, a couple, couple of years later, I looked into how you get started and I, cause I had no idea. I went on a club forum and it was a production BMW championship as it happens. And uh, they said, well, we've got a test coming up in a few weeks. Come down to Snetterton, because I was in Cambridge at the time, and uh, come and talk to the guys. So I did. And one guy said, oh, well, get a helmet. I'll take you around in the car. Just uh, just show me what it was like. And um, I thought, wow, these, these cars can, can grip. Um, and uh, from there, uh, I bought this off eBay. It was an impulse buy. From then, uh, I found the E30 Zone, which is a website that specialises in BMW E30s. And from there, I decided, right, I'm gonna get this car, and I'm gonna get up to race spec. And it took me a few years, but um, yeah, uh, we got there. Yeah, so, production BMW Championship, uh, typically runs about seven, eight meetings a year. Uh, so they go to Donington, they go to Silverstone, they go to Wilton Park, Brands Hatch. We've just come back from Cadwell Park. That's pretty scary. Um, so they decide what the calendar is going to be. And um, yeah, so our season will run in the standard motorsport season, you know, March to October, let's say. And uh, yeah, we go family camping. Uh, we take the tent, we take this on the trailer, uh, we camp in the campsites, we put the gazebo up in the, in the paddock. We're starting to get to know um, the areas around Brands Hatch, around Silverstone, as a, as a family thing. That's lovely because we keep going to these places. We're even starting to make friends in the paddock and the kids are starting to play with each other. It's just like a traveling circus. It's really, really good. Uh, the cars are very standard. It's uh, one of the club ethos. The club ethos is to keep this uh, championship as cheap as possible. Everything in motorsport costs. There's always a premium but um, this is budget end of, of motorsports. Um, so the, the cars, you're not allowed to do much to them. Um, and it's quite competitive, so people are always pushing the edge, and they'll do everywhere. But um, you, know, you, you cannot modify the engines, you can't uh, lighten body panels, you've got a strict uh, minimum weight, so um, it's all to keep the, keep the cost down. So when, you, when you're racing around, you know, what, what, what emotions are your body, is your body going through? Uh, it depends uh, which part of my experience, because obviously the very start, sheer terror <laughs> being around cars that are doing 90 mile an hour and you're you're supposed to be that close to them, but uh, the very, very start, that's the thing that scared me the most, is being around these cars going so fast. So my first race, I eased off, let them go ahead. I couldn't bear the idea of going so fast inches away from them. I don't know when or why, suddenly that disappeared. I just got used to it. But um, yeah, sheer terror um, and adrenaline. Uh, that's the other thing, say Cadwell Park, which has come back from. And by the time I'd um, gone round and done my, after the race, done my cooling down lap, I'd gone through the scrutineering bit. I'd got back to the paddock, said hello to the kids. My heart was still going, you know, five minutes later. Um, so adrenaline, that's another one. Um, you, you, you feel alive afterwards, you think, wow, that, that is, you know, uh, that, that's a reason to be alive, to do something like that, if that makes sense.